three, two, one, Dr. Payam! Hello, thanks for watching. And so in a previous video, I proved the product rule. In another video, I proved the Chen Lu. Well, the only thing left is maybe just to prove the quotient rule, which I'll do today. So let's just show that the derivative of f over g is f prime, I guess that x, is f prime of x, g of x, minus f of x, g prime of x, over g of x squared. It's actually a very cute thing, something hopefully we can prove in less than five minutes, but we'll see. So, what is f over g prime of x? It's just the limit as h goes to zero, of this function, so f over g of x plus h minus f over g of x over h. So that's just the definition of the derivative as a limit. And then let's now use the definition of f over g. That just means, so limit h goes to zero, of f of x plus h over g of x plus h minus f of x over g of x divided by h. And well, now you have this difference of ratios and that just screams out to be put on a common denominator. So we have limit h goes to zero of so f of x times g of x, so, sorry, f of x plus h times g of x minus f of x, g of x plus h over g of x plus h times g of x. So you get all this over h. And by the way, this is where the g squared at the end will come from, from the quotient rule. Okay, and this is all in good. But so far, there's nothing much we can do because if you take that limit, more or less, you have, you know, the numerator goes to zero because you have f times g and f times g, and it's divided by h, so zero over zero, that's not good. But... Let's just tweak this a little bit because this term almost looks like a derivative of f if we had f of x plus h minus f of x. So in fact, let's start with this term again, f of x plus h times g of x. And let's subtract an f of x term. But to make this, you know, also be divided by g of x, let's multiply this by g of x. And well, whatever you subtracted, you have to add back. So it's a plus f of x g of x and minus that term, minus f of x g of x plus h. And all that divided by uh, g of x plus h times g of x. And I guess uh, all that divided by h. So it's a huge fraction. And yeah, I could have just put the h here, but whatever. Okay, and now notice those give really two distinct terms. One where the g of x falls out. So limit h goes to zero of. Now let's factor out this g of x term. We get f of x plus h minus f of x times g of x. And then we can divide this by h, and that's actually very useful in a second. And we had all this divided by g of x plus h times g of x. And I know you're very tempted to cancel out the g of x's, but don't do that yet because we want to write this in quotient rule notation. And then, remember the quotient rule involves a minus. So minus 
Now, similar terms here. So in this case, the f of x uh, factors out. And you're left with, again, because you had the minus sign, g of x plus h minus g of x over h. And all this divided by g of x plus h times g of x. So look, it does look, in fact, very similar to the quotient rule because what happens when we take the limit as h goes to 0 of this whole gibberish? Notice the only bad terms are the ones where we divide by h, but what happens to this as h goes to 0? Well, that just goes to f prime of x. Just by the definition of the derivative, this term goes to g prime of x. And again, those are the only bad terms. The only thing left, maybe that depends on h, is this term. But as h goes to 0, x plus h is sort of like x. So strictly speaking, by continuity, this goes to g of x. And this also goes to g of x. So after this whole derivative explosion, we're left with simply f prime of x times g of x minus f of x times g prime of x divided by and g of x times g of x, which is just g of x squared. So in the end, what have we shown? We've shown that, in fact, the derivative of f over g at x is just f prime of x times g of x minus f of x g prime of x over g of x squared. How cool is that? I think it's even easier than the product rule or the uh, chain loop, but um, just based on this little trick of adding and subtracting stuff. But, I hope you like this little calculus fun math corner-ish. And uh, if you want to see more calculus and more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.